So hey guys, here we have question number 15 from check your understanding exercise of the chapter impulse and momentum again from path matter. So uh, let's first look at the question. Three particles like balls A, B and C of masses M1, 1 kg, M2, 1 kg and M3, 2 kg connected by identical elastic and almost inextensible threads are placed on a frictionless horizontal floor. The threads are straight and the angle between them is theta equals to 60 degrees as shown in the figure. The ball A is projected with velocity u equals to 6 meter per second parallel to the thread connecting the balls B and C. With what, with what velocity will the ball C begin to move? So if you want to give this question a try yourself without the hint, uh, you should do it now. So yeah, now let's look at the hint. Try modeling it as an ela elastic collision just as said in the hints and given behind. So if you want to give this question again a try, uh, you can do it now. So yeah, now let's look at the solution. So first of all, it is uh, clear that just as A starts moving, the string will get slack until it reaches a point as shown below. So basically what I've said here is that as this ball starts moving, this distance is decreasing. So uh, this string will get slacked until it reaches this point where this angle theta is also 60 degree by uh, symmetry. So uh, till this moment, nothing as uh, special will happen. After this moment, as the particles can go no long longer in straight line uh, without some impulsive tension acting at the string, so some tension will act in these two strings. So now, uh, as I s just said uh, in the hints and uh, in the build up your understanding question number 18, as it was said in the hints, the similar approach uh, has to be used here that we have to consider an elastic collision first between these two particles and then an elastic collision between these two particles because the thread is elastic, so the energy will be conserved. So basically, we uh, it will almost be like an elastic collision. So let's first consider the first interaction so from here, here the velocity v u is in this direction of ball A and in the direction along the string it will be u cos theta and in direction perpendicular to the string it will be u sin theta. So from here, uh, after the first collision we can, uh, we can model it like this that m1 is coming with a velocity of u cos theta which is along the thread or the string uh, coming towards m2 and after the collision let's say they, ha they have velocity v1 and v2. So here simply by momentum conservation and as it is an elastic collision using uh, coefficient of restitution 1, you can come up with these two equations and solve them to get the value of V2 which is the velocity of uh, M2 just after the collision will be 2M1 by M1 plus M2 times U cos theta. So this was just after the collision 1. So after this let's consider the collision 2 or interaction, second interaction which we are modeling as colli uh, collision. So after th the first collision the uh, first ball will be moving with a velocity v1 along the string and its perpendicular velocity won't have changed and the second ball will be moving with v2 along the string so now looking at the components of v2 in along the second string will be v2 cos theta and uh, perpendicular to that will be v2 sin theta so again considering a collision between m2 and m3 as shown below we can consider that m2 is uh, approaching with a velocity v2 cos theta and it collides with m3 and after that m3 goes on with the velocity v4 and m2 with v3 again conserving momentum we get this equation and again by coefficient of restitution equal to 1 we get the second equation so from here on solving uh, just as we did in the first case it will be v4 equals to 2m2 by m2 plus m3 times v2 cos theta so from here we needed to find v4 and uh, so v4 we have found and we substitute the value of v2 back uh, from the first collision we get the value of v2 to be 2m1 by m1 plus m2 times u cos theta and so the final uh, expression for v4 will be 2, uh, 2m2 by m2 plus m3 times 2m1 by m1 plus m2 times u co cos square theta and on substituting m1 m2 equals to 1 kg and m3 equals to 2 kg and uh, cos theta equals to uh, theta equals to 60 degree we get the value of v4 to be u0 by 6 or 1 meter per second so yeah uh, this was the final answer to this question so hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe thank you